Michelle Dale for the VA Passport and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, in a very very short space of time create um, a pitch page which you can use in your own business or for your clients. Um, so first of all I'm going to be using the Adobe Business Catalyst system for this and I'm going to show you everything through the front end of the system of how you can actually create the pitch page but first of all we need to actually create the site using the console so I'll put the link um, to actually create the console for you um, in the video or with the video but first of all um, we need to use an online business template this is recommended it's the fastest way to instantly set up uh, a website so we're going to click next here and that will then take us to a whole bunch of uh, template options as you can see here there are various different ones that you can take a look at um, they're extremely basic um, but you know this is a, a basic thing and you can put customized templates in there later on um, that you can put you know single page templates and sites on but for now for the purposes of this experiment shall we call it uh, we are going to use uh, something very simple which is this one which would be sort of fairly good for a pitch page because the content is centered and there's information down the left and right which we will remove um, unless of course you wanted to keep it in there um, so you choose your template so you pick a style we're going to pick a color and a theme uh, I'm just going to randomly pick one because my website is sort of black and red I'm going to go directly for the black here um, and then at the bottom we're going to choose something which uh, you know would be a good idea for something businessy we're a virtual assistant so you know just pick a random image I'm going to go for this one it sort of indicates business growth and so there we are I'm about to build this site it's going to be this template this color and uh, within it is going to be this you can go for, for something like this um, let's go for this it's a little bit lighter okay uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to directly click finish because it will add all these other features on and these are things that we're going to be exploring uh, you know throughout the life of the VA passport but for the moment we're just going to add them all on and I'm going to click finish okay what you'll need to do in here is basically add your information in and then click finish here and I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to complete this information so you don't have to watch me do it and uh, then we'll log directly into the console. Okay I've just entered uh, all of the information in there I had just set up a, a test page and it's actually going through the motions now and creating the site. Uh, it's created the site so you have options here you can log into the admin area you can preview the site or you can check your inbox I'm just going to open this in a new tab so you can take a look at the site that's just been created so this was instantaneously created and set up um, and it's actually a complete website if you go to these links you'll see uh, that there is you know various information which you may want to update or, or use in some fashion uh, but here is what we're going to be working with now um, you can check your inbox that will give you your passwords and everything like that but now we're going to log into the admin area And here we are, we are logged into our brand new console and this is the back office admin area. It's recommended actually if this is new to you that you go through the guided tours and the various different things that you find here because it might be helpful to you to understand what all these things mean but to for the purposes of this video I'm going to cut straight to it so we can go and create the pitch page. Now as you'll see on the actual preview here, um, there's a lot of extra content which we don't really need when we're doing a pitch. 
Um, you may want to include the newsletter sign up, for example, if you think that people might be interested in that. Um, if you don't have a secure area, you, you're going to want to remove these things. If you don't have news updates or anything like that, you're going to want to remove these things. You might want to put some like you know little icons in here for Twitter or something. And certainly, if you've just you know started it and you've got all this you know information on the left hand side here, again, you may want to remove that. So we're going to focus here on just creating a single page. We're not going to be doing the website thing. We're going to create a single pitch page for the purposes of making a pitch to a potential client. Uh, so let's first of all go to admin and we're going to manage the site-wide templates because this black area here and all these things on the side is in fact a template which is set up and you can see here there's a main template a print view template and a sub template. Now, probably the best one to use uh, is a sub template. I'm going to click here. Uh, I'm going to preview this template. Okay, the sub template is excellent because it's got nothing like this down the side. Um, we want to kind of remove this login thing and we want to really remove the menu. So, this would be uh, a good thing to use. Um, it's got no image at the top, so if you wanted to keep the image in there, you can either put it in the page um, or you can use another template. You can use the main template. Um, if we go back to view all templates, uh, as you can see here, the main template has a pitch page. So, you know, there's a few things that we could do here. As you can see, there's there's all sorts of things down the side that we could remove, like the search, you know, the login box and everything like that. Um, but for the purposes of this demonstration, um, I'm going to go and use the other template. Which is a sub-template. Okay, so first of all, what I want to do is I want to remove the login bit because I don't want uh, that there. And I also want to remove this menu on the left hand side here. You can't see because it's really in black, but I want to remove this menu. And then, you know, we can add a little thing here. Um, it could be like the name of the person. So let's say Joe Blogs. So when they land on the page, they know it's, uh, you know, them that it's for. Uh, okay, so what we can do now um, is save and publish this. And hopefully it will look a little bit different. Okay, so great. So we've created a page here. We've got Joe Blogs on the left. This is the guy that I'm going to do my pitch to. This is where the content's going to show. Content's going to show. There's nothing else there. Um, it's just a blank page. So now we need to actually get some content on this page. There's a print button here and an RSS feed. You can just delete those if you wanted to, in the same way as I did the other things, um, or you could leave them in. It's entirely up to you. Um, I just deleted them there with using the backspace. And if I click Save and Publish and I preview this in a new browser, you'll see that they're gone. So this is a fairly clean, single one-page web template that you know we've just got going here, um, which is great for a basic pitch page. Okay, so now we've got the template, what we need to do is create the web page. So what I'm gonna do here is go to web pages and create new web page. Now, if you want to organize your console and you're gonna be using it for the purposes of marketing within your VA business, um, what I would suggest you do is create a folder. Um, you know, you can get give a folder a name, but basically you want it to indicate that this is your pitch page folder, but it's going to show up in the URL. Um, so I wouldn't put anything too obvious that you're doing loads of proposal pages or something. So I would, rather than say pitch page, I would just call it proposals. And then click create. And close that so the page is going to end up in a proposal and then what I would do is probably just use the name of a client that the proposal is for so this is going to be um, your URL proposals forward slash Joe blogs and you can put any domain in here then uh, the page name let's call it Joe blogs so it's nice and personal and I'm gonna 
assign a template. So here it says you use default template, but I'm going to assign the sub template. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, change the name of the template if you wanted to, to something like proposal template. So you know you can always uh, click proposal template, but I've left it as sub template. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just save and publish this. Uh, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So there's nothing actually going on at the moment. As you can see, it's very, very empty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to embed my presentation video and I'm going to embed a little bit of a content thing and a bit of a message. So first of all, um, I'm going to go and get my video. Now what I'm going to copy and paste here is uh, literally uh, a video code, it's not a pitch, but it's an example video for you that I'm going to put in here. So what I'm going to do is get my video code. You can use something like Vimeo.com, um, which I would recommend you use because you can add a front cover to your videos. Or you can use YouTube, but you know a front cover added to the video makes all the difference. And you can do that in Vimeo.com. Um, so I'm taking a Vimeo embed code here. I've gone to the HTML view and I'm going to copy and paste the embed code in here. Okay, so I've got my video, I've done my pitch, I've got my video pitch, and I've pasted the embed code in here. Okay, I'm just going to add a few lines, go back to the design view. Okay, so as you can see, my video is showing, it's got the, uh, the pitch page there. Sorry, I accidentally deleted it. This is a hazard of uh, doing these <laughs> videos live. Um, but at least you get to see that I make mistakes too, so don't worry about it. Okay, there's my video. Okay, so say this is my pitch video, and this is Joe Blogs. I'm going to be talking to Joe Blogs. You can add nice cover, you know, a graphic with something like. Uh, invitation to view Joe Blogs or thank you Joe Blogs or something like that. So as soon as he lands on the pitch page, you know that, uh, you know, for him it's personal. You know, he's going to want to look at this video because it's personal. You've done a personal message and you've got a, a thing on there. So that's why I like it better than YouTube. And then basically underneath the video, you want to add all the information um, with regards to your pitch, so basically um, how he can contact you, where he can contact you, the details of the pitch, etc, etc. So you would put your pitch information underneath the video. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste some sort of basic text stuff here. Um, always address him by name. Um, and then sign off. Sorry, I'm just writing this as, uh, as I'm speaking. And right now I'm going to copy and paste this into here. Always best if you're doing it in Word or anything like that to paste as plain text. So you need to click this little icon up here and then paste as plain text in here. So I basically I said, hi Joe, then this is my text. Um, hope you find it of interest, blah, blah. Um, always include two forms of being able to contact you of your preferred choice, whether it's phone, whether it's email, whether it's an online booking form, whatever it is, two forms of contact, always. Um, always make sure that your links are hyperlinked. So I'm going to, like, so for example, this would need to link to my content, my online calendar, like something like sets.com, or you can embed a sets to button in there. Um, and this would go directly to my contact form online. So I'm just going to show you how to make a hyperlink here. You just highlight the text and then you go to the small uh, world icon with the link in it. And then we're just going to put this in here. We're going to target it in a new window because I don't want to take him off the pitch page. And I'm going to enter it in like that. So this is a very, very uh, rough way of doing these pitch pages. So I'm just going to save and publish this now. Um, 
you'll have to make it look look much prettier than I'm doing here. Um, this is just a very, very rough example, uh, basically, of, of what you need to do for this. And here is the page. So I'm just going to take it off preview now. Um, so basically, you've got your video here. You've got your text underneath here. This is your pitch video. This is the main thing that we want them to look at. Um, and then the rest of the information is going to be down here below about uh, what your pitch is, how they can contact you, etc, etc. So um, hopefully that will explain a little bit more about how to create these pitch pages. Um, now up here, as you can see, it says pitch page test uh, .icapitalize.com. So if you actually want it to not say this .icapitalize.com, this can be anything you really want it to be. Um, but this uh, will remain there unless you put it on a new domain. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, go to manage domain names up here and I'm going to set up a new domain name. So basically what you would do is redirect uh, your domain name into your console and then set up a new domain name. You need to upgrade the console in order to set up a, a domain name. So you can have this on your own domain or a subdomain or, or anything you want really, um, but you actually need to have it live and then you can use this set up the domain. To go back to find your web pages, you can go here, you can go directly on the drop down to the page you created, or you can go to web pages. Uh, then in the folder proposals, you can drop this down and you will see the, the page should be in there. Yes, hopefully. Oh, I didn't put it in there. Okay, good, guys, <laughs> going in proposals, save and publish. And you will find that it now should be in the proposals. Ah, there we are. So basically, you can find people online. You can um, set these pitch pages up. If you get your, your page set up exactly how you like it, so you're obviously going to spend a little bit more time on these pitch pages than the ones I've just created for you. But if you get to a point where you find a page that you really, really like and you've got it perfect and you want to keep the same text on there and you just want to adjust it slightly with the names for your different pictures and change the video, you can literally go to the page and then do copy this web page. So say for example, you've just done another two minute video for a new pitch um, and then you can change the page URL to a different name um, change the page name to a different name and then you've got a whole new pitch page. Uh, the same with the templates. If you want to create new templates uh, you can just do a copy this template at the bottom here so you can have various different templates or if you want to keep a generic one um, you can just change this to proposal and you can just use the same template over and over and over again. Uh, if I click save and publish here, you'll see that um, Joe Blogs has now turned into proposal. it's turned into proposal up here. So this is how you create a pitch page. You would obviously like, you know, send to the video, make it look a bit nicer, maybe put your logo in there, in somewhere. Um, you can have a play around and have a fiddle. The interface that you use to work in like this uh, is very, very simple to use. Uh, you can add images here with this add image icon. Uh, you can add tables, although it's not best advised that you do that. The best thing to do is add the image icon. Um, and that is how you, you very, very roughly <laughs> create a pitch page using Adobe Business Catalyst. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the forums, the VA Passport.